I challenged my friend Leapalot to a 40 minute race to see who can create the best Stardew Valley outfit possible. We'll start on a brand new farm with just a piece of cloth. First, we'll have 10 minutes to theorycraft our roots, and then 40 minutes to try and get all the supplies necessary to create the best outfit possible. Who will end up with the best drip? Let's get this going, let's get this going. Already nine seconds in. All right, first thing that we're gonna do, have to do, we're gonna have to theme this outfit around a hat, okay? Because we're gonna need a hat. That is what's gonna bring us to victory. This is interesting. Okay, I'm now becoming frightened. We could go for a whole Halloween-y look with the pumpkin mask. Wait, that would be kind of cool, like a scary skeleton look. Okay, maybe we do... Okay, no, I'm gonna stick... I'm running out of time, so I gotta stick with my look, okay? We just need to find a scary-looking shirt. Okay, we need to get some dye pods no matter what. So we need clam, eggplant, bok choy, a beer from Gus, pumpkin, and then red is... Uh, pizza, pizza, perfect. Okay, we just need some money. We can just do a little clay farming, it's fine. And we can just dye our pants black. We just need a cool shirt. Turtleneck sweater? Okay, orange turtleneck. How do you do that? Copper ore, easy. Okay, so the big thing is just gonna be waiting until the spirits eve. And in the meantime, we're gonna prep. We're gonna prep by getting all of these things on this list. Can't see the list? Oh, duh. Sorry. All right, are you ready, Leap? I suppose, I think I can be ready. All right, three. Two, one, begin. Okay. Let's roll. Okay, I need to discuss my strategy. Okay, bye. All right, bye, leap a lot. The plan is to sleep until the first Friday of fall. Then we clay farm for money until Pierre's opens, right? It's a bit of a gamble, but I don't care. Then, and we are sleeping until Friday because we're hoping to get that clam forage we need for dye. Then we go and buy an eggplant, a bok choy, and a pumpkin seed, or two pumpkin seeds, actually. Um, and then we hope that Gus's is open by then. We buy a beer, we buy a pizza. Then we should be able to dye our entire outfit, and then all we need is a single piece of ore in order to create our outfit, or whatever else. It's It, it can be whatever, it just has to be dyeable. Oh wait, that was the first time of fall! Okay, I meant the first Saturday of fall. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, and we'll pick up any forage we see along the way, okay? Then after this, we just need to sleep, get the jack-o'-lantern, tailor that, and put our put our outfit together. All right, we're waiting for Pierre's to open anyway, and then we have to buy a couple things. All we have to do is pray that there's a clam on the farm. Okay, there's a clam there. Come on, we got this, chat. Okay, Pog. We just need a little bit to get us going. I just want to have enough, and this is also just like a good thing to do while we wait for Pierre's to open. And then I'll just head up to Robin's really quick. A little bit of clay farming will do us a long way, I think. All right, that feels like enough. We got 45. All right. We got to go to Gus's anyway. We got to wait for Gus's anyway to open because we need pizza and a beer. So this is perfect. We need pumpkins. We need bok choy. And then I think that's it. Yeah, and then we just need beer, pizza, and pumpkin from Gus's. Okay, we got our money. We got our money. That is definitely not enough money to afford the jack-o'-lantern. Okay, slightly scuffed, slightly scuffed chat. Okay, we need to go back to our farming roots for a bit, I think. Because we need to go buy a beer and a pizza from Gus. That's fine, he's not even open yet. So we have a little bit more time to go farming. I'm gonna clay farm till I exhaust. Bup, bup. All right, now we go up to Gus's. Then we pass out there. Beer. What can we lose here? Nothing, really. Okay. We're doing a gamba, we're doing a gamba. Oh wait, we gotta pass out. All right, it's halfway through. The strategy is still sort of coming together, I would say. If we get in the hazelnut, though, then we don't even need the pumpkins, okay? All right, go, 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 go. All right, clear out some space. All right, buppity, 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 buppity. All right, and then we just hope for hazelnut. We'll have like a full day to look for a hazelnut later. It's fine. Now we just go out, water every single day until it's the, uh, the good day that we need, all right? Okay. All right, we have the money, we have the money. We're fine, we're fine, we have money, we have money. All right, all we need is copper, and then we need to make it to Emily's, okay? We need the purple, we need the copper, 
Then we need to make it to Emily's. Okay, we got the purple. All right, now we just sleep till Spirit's Eve. Sleep till Spirit's Eve, baby. And then on Spirit's Eve, we're gonna go into the mines. Um, and yeah. Then we buy our jack-o'-lantern. And we need the hazelnut, yeah. Okay. Pog, 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 pog. It's the festival day. First things first, I need a god dang chest because this inventory is giving me an anxiety attack. Clay counts for orange. Okay, we can do clay instead then. Okay. Put everything in the die there. Okay, so if Emily's house is closed, we literally have to wait until tomorrow to go there, which hopefully she'll be open at the right time, but I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. All right, we have all the forge we need. Okay, wait, hold up. This is actually a really good sign. Go down here. We just need a single copper ore. Uh, Copper, perfect. So they don't close shops. Okay, we can get to Emily's then. We have everything we need then. We're on track. Chat, we can win this. We can still win this. Okay, I'm going to go do everything right now just so I don't choke. All right, don't need any of this. I need... Bop, 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 bop. You liars! Chat, you absolute liars! What are you going on about? Chat! No! <laughs> oh, this is on me. I should have known. I thought that things were closed on Spirits Festival. I was like, I thought you couldn't get to town. Because now we have nothing but time. Well, let's check in with Leap. Leap! Shawnee. How, how are things going on your end? Well, I got my pants. It's, it's 23 minutes in. Yes. That doesn't sound good. Eh, I think it'll be all right. Do you think you're going to... Oh, so this is good. You're, you're on track for what you want. No, not at all. But I'm happy with it. That doesn't sound good. There's only seven six minutes left. I thought we were going for 40 minutes. We can go for 40 minutes. No, no. Like, if you're ready... No, no let's go for 40 minutes. Let, no, no, no. You know what, Leap? That works better for me. 40 minutes is best. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you again in a few minutes. Okay, talk to you again in a few minutes. <laughs> oh my God, he just saved our bones. Hardcore. Well, now I feel a lot more calm. Honestly, I have nothing to really worry about now. We went with a pretty easy route. Because I feel like our ours is going to appeal to the common man, you know? It's going to be silly. It's going to be crazy. Well, let's just go into the mines and look for anything special then. Might as well try and get some extra... Parmesan seasoning on top of this. Well, if we can at least get to level 10, then we can get some cooler brown boots. Or if we could find some, like, rubber-toed sneakers or whatever that green ones are. Why did I throw away? Oh, a geode. Pog. Well, let's head back over there. <laughs> this is a, a rousing failure, but I think we're doing good. Damn, I was freaking out over nothing, man. You think I should go for the cozy scary vibe, guys? Wait, while I'm here, let me go pick up the golden pumpkin in case I need money. There's a lot of things that I could open up my options to buy now. Also, I could sleep to somebody's birthday if I need to and get them to two hearts. I don't know what that would do, but I could get tea now. All right, now we got the golden pumpkin, which should feel very nice. Okay, sell the golden pumpkin. And sleep. All right... We need our cloth, our jack-o'-lantern, hazelnut beer, eggplant pizza, clam, bok choy. I think we have everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think we should be good. All right, here we go. Let's start tailoring. All right, we put the cloth there. We put this here. I'm just gonna put one in there because I'm scared about it using multiple pieces of cloth. And then we put the jack-o'-lantern here. Okay, pog. Then we equip that. We equip that. And then dye pots, we go. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, and then we dye ourselves. I think a black sweater and orange pants is gonna look sick. Oh my gosh. Wait, this actually looks cool. Okay, I think we actually did something. Okay, we have to we have two minutes to get this orange color right. Alright, that looks good to me, chat. Alright. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, ten seconds left. I'm I'm all ready. Alright, and that is time. Leap a lot. Leap. Shawnee do or Shawnee don't. 
That is time. Time is up. Well, I'm right in the middle of a cutscene. Can you wait for a second? Okay. What cutscene are you getting? I'm just waiting for a really long section where somebody has to walk for a while. And I can't skip it. Really long section where someone has to walk for a while? Yeah, unfortunately, there's no skipping allowed here. I know, it's, it's really inconvenient, but I promise you, I am just about set here. What are you going on about, Leap? No, no, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep just to save, and then how do you want to... How are we judging this? I think that the best way to do this will to be to just take a photo in our cabins. Yeah, is it all right if I take a photo somewhere else? Okay, yeah, we can go somewhere else. I don't, I don't care where you want to go. I just have a specific house that I want to go to. Where are you going to go? Well, if I told you... Well, it's it's too late now. I'm going to Marnie's house. Do you look like an animal of some kind? Well, I, I kind of look like the kind of animal that you wouldn't trust around someone you care about. Are you dressed up as Mayor Lewis? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, yes. I am dressed up as Mayor Lewis. I have his shorts. I have his suspenders. I'm wearing a sexy time fedora. This is absurd. All right. Are yours done? I am done. Can I send, can I can you send me yours? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I just sent you mine. Oh, this one my eyes were closed. Maybe it'll add to the look. I do love your spooky look. This is <laughs> This is pretty good. This is like very accurate to what Lewis looks like. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You're wearing the fedora, which you get from the fair. You're wearing Marnie, you're, I'm sorry, the mayor's shorts, which I assume you acquired by going into Marnie's room. No, actually, uh, I got the shorts from uh, Staircase. Uh, I just no clipped into Marnie's room just for the picture, just for the picture. Ah, all right, let's call, let's call Madden here. And you know what? See what he thinks. Absolutely, that sounds great. We're calling him in. Matthew McCluskey. Hi, how are you? I want you to give us your in-depth thought process to uh, how you feel about both of these outfits. So the first one that Matt is looking at is this one. Talk us through how you feel about this outfit. I think the purple and green is a little bit of a, a Joker vibe. Um, going along with the fedora. Uh, it's kind of red flag in me, to be honest. Are we allowed to give our our vision? Yeah, you can you you can go ahead and give your vision, Leap. My thought process for this this vision that I had was that we were going to be impersonating Mayor Lewis on one of his trips to visit Marnie. You see, we have the purple shorts, the suspenders, and we even have our sexy time fedora. This seems problematic to me. Are you trying to make Marnie think that you're Mayor Lewis? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'll write that down. <laughs> write that down. <laughs> I think the explanation only hurts your odds, honestly. <laughs> you know, if that's what it takes, I got to triple down. Well, I can walk you through my design if you'd like, Matt. Sure, sure. The thought process for mine um, was I similarly had a sort of un in depth theme that I was going for, similar to Leap. I went for spooky. Mm hmm. <laughs> I am kind of scared. It sounds like it's working then. One thing I will ask, can you explain the location choice? <laughs> Think for a moment about all the scary things in your life. Tarantulas, the dark, taxes. Now think about the spa. Need I say more? I would like for you to say more. <laughs> no need. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> okay. I don't. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, I get it. See, the spa is is where you go to uh, relieve yourself of all these fears. However, uh, this is the embodiment of all the fears left behind by the spa patrons since it is outside of the spa doors. And see, Matt gets it. All right, well, Matt... If you had to give each of these a score on a scale of 1 to 10, tell us your ratings. Okay, we'll, we'll start with Leaps. Okay. So, uh, this was my pretty much my outfit. 
uh, in a playthrough. So that gives it some points, obviously, since it's uh, pretty close to my own taste. Uh, however, I think I think the use of the fit <laughs> is uh, just going to dock it quite a few points. Uh, Landon, I, I don't, at a, I don't at understand. A clean, at a clean four. Wow. <laughs> All right, moving on to design number two. This uh, it falls my favorite season. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna set this at a uh, maybe seven to eight. You know, it's not too not too complicated. It's very simple, but fits a clear theme. <laughs> There's no problematic elements. <laughs> he would have won. I accept that. You know, true art is it's on the border, you know? You're gonna lose some people, and and that's what Leap did. And although he lost, and very embarrassingly, it, it, you know that's <laughs> that's part of creating art. You want to see high five? Hey, hello, hello, hello. Who's a good? You.